This is the most challenging high-risk patient in my career. I'm Herbert Chavez, Idol is the man of steel, and I hope to become the man of plastic. I grew up in the Philippines. We were very poor at that time, so my mom is selling uh, food, and my dad is a tricycle driver. What I want now is to have the permanent abs implant. If the doctor can do this procedure for other people to become good looking, why the doctor cannot make this one for me to become a superhero? I'm Herbert Chavez. I'm the Philippine superhero. Awesome. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Terry Dubrow, pleasure. Hey, pleasure. Have a seat. Herbert, he's sort of a little smaller, cuter version of a superhero. Wow. You're cool looking, man. What'd you, what'd you do here? They put a silicon oil before. So, yeah, so that's filler. Yeah, filler. Yes, only filler. Right. Because in the Philippines, we can do this without any uh, permission or any signing. You didn't need to be a doctor. Yeah, sometimes only friends making for you for a mesolipo or injection for a glutathione like that. Did you have injections back here too? Yeah. So you had those chemicals injected all over your waist and torso. Yeah. It's very clear that he's had multiple injections of chemical irritants designed to dissolve the fat under his skin. He's got fibrotic areas, scars, nodules. He's kind of like the human pincushion. I'm Blondie Bennett and I'm a real life doll. I've had five boob jobs, chin liposuction, my cheeks done, and I do Botox constantly. I mean, I know your lifestyle, you want to be like a doll, but I just don't know how healthy this is. I've heard all my life, I'm too thin, I'm too... Right. And I'm happy I got this far, but I just want to see if I can go further. By the way, how do you get a mammogram? You don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Do you get ultrasounds? No. Nope. <laughs> Nothing? Dolls don't get mammograms. <laughs> Dolls don't get mammograms. Dolls don't get breast cancer, do they? I am still wanting to seek out my goal. Um, I'm just going to be a little cautious about it, but I still, I'm still determined. <laughs> Pleasure. I'm glad um, you came to see us. We do it. not want to see you again <laughs> yes. in this office with the problem. I just want to look like tits on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Purple. Hi, Bunny? Bunny, hi. Um, an avatar. Ava that's what I was thinking, an avatar. Are you an avatar? No. no. No? Is she a cartoon character? Is she a Martian? Is she a piece of fruit? What, what is she? I don't know. My first surgery was when I was 18. How much did you put in the first time? 850. Your in first eight, operation was 850? An 18-year-old with 850 cc's in each yes. breast? Yes. Wow. Breast implants alone in an 18-year-old is pretty controversial. Putting 850 cc implants in is downright wrong. Within a year, I started to have a double bubble and bottomed out. Yeah. And the breast muscle on my side actually was lapping over. I've always wanted the fake, unnatural-looking boob look. You weren't there at 850? Sadly, no, because when they started dropping, they just continued to drop. Okay. So I am still looking to go bigger. To achieve that look, that's what I'm really aiming for. I am Luis, I am 25 years old, and I'm from Argentina. I am in a quest to become a perfect looking elf. Since a young age, I always loved fantasy movies like Labyrinth and Never Ending Story. I started to dye my hair green, blue, white, because I like being colorful like the characters on the movies and I started to learn about plastic surgery. That was the time when I decided that I wanted to change myself. I'm not a Kipler elf. I'm not an elf in the shelf. <laughs> I specifically uh, focus my transformation in space elves. They are warriors of love and light and they protect the earth from evil aliens and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, he's got the ears going, sporting those ears. Luis, Dr. How are you? Nancy. Nice to meet you. How Dr. are you? Nancy. Hi, Luis. How are you? Terry Dubrow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is that, a crystal see. ball? This is a gift. It is a crystal ball. But if you move it this way, yeah. it can show you your dreams. Oh. Show us our dreams. Ooh. The crystal ball is unbreakable because that's the way how dreams are supposed to be, unbreakable. My dream is to become a fantasy character, and I will do anything to achieve that dream. So do you want to look like an alien 
or do you have elf ears? What, what, what are we trying to achieve here? Both. There are different elves, not only that of the fairy tales. There are also space elves. Space elves? Yeah. They are a species of aliens that look humanoid but faces with cat shape. I have still to go to India to change my eye color again. Again? Again. You've done it before? Five times. What did they do? Laser color change. So you've had five laser procedures on the iris of your eyes. Did you lose any sight with those laser eye color change procedures? Well, I lost my sight, but just a few days. That's scary. It's Pixie Fox, and I am back. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Since last time I was here, I had more than 20 plastic surgery procedures. From my quest to become a living cartoon. Surgeries that I know Dr. Nassif and Dr. Dubrow would never perform on me. You're going to look deformed, cartoonish in a goofy, ugly, unattractive way. This time, maybe they can try to open up and see a little bit of my vision of my life. I was the first documented case in the world ever to remove six of my ribs. I'm also one of the few people in the world to done a rare genital beautification surgery. It is also known as a double pussy procedure. You cut the complete inner, and then you add fat to the outer to close it, and then you tighten it up and make it smaller everywhere. <laughs> You basically tuck it in and make it more pretty and cute and beautiful flower. <laughs> Why are you here? I had two brow lifts, so that would have hired my hairline a little bit. So I'm thinking about lowering it a bit. Lower your hairline? Yes. So I think Dr. Debro and I would obviously want to examine you, especially we want to really look at this area. Yes. Also your forehead. And... All right. I am so close to becoming a real-life cartoon. I need a small surgery, and then I'm done. How many hairs did they transplant? Did uh, they tell you? 25 on each side. 25 on each yeah. side. The lower your mouth? OK, okay it's hard for me to move my face. Okay. <laughs> right. No, we're just looking. We don't want to ruin your lips. We're looking at your lips. Does that hurt right there? I Where'd don't you? feel anything, to be honest. I feel some little tingle is like starting to grow back, but it can Smile. Go like this. Shows like your that? teeth. I can't do it. Yeah, right marginals out. Already we've determined that these two sensory nerves that come out of your jaw and supply your entire lower jaw with sensation are out. In addition, the motor nerve that controls your lip and pulls it down is out. So when you go like this, you can't really feel yourself touch yourself, right? Do you feel sharp? No. Oh, jeez. It's hard to know if the V-line surgery has caused permanent damage. Pixie will know about six months. If these nerves aren't functioning at that point, then most likely the damage will be permanent.